Okay, everyone, I'm going to do the oracle <coughs> because that's what I've decided, okay? So let's just review. <clears throat> WG is the best short gap here today. It's right now at this moment at the first target. So all the numbers that I gave for targets and resistance are slightly different. I did put the resistance back up in the room again, the new resistance. And, you know, the target's three now. I mean, but that's only 25 cents away. Could it get beyond that? Yes. Uh, this really needs to rally to set up, though. But, you know, you could take it on any setup. The only thing I don't like about this, to be honest with you, quite frankly, is really the spread with the price point combined. I don't have a problem with it being at the first target. And uh, plenty of volume in this. And uh, look at that. It's sitting right at the target I wrote in the room. Look at that. Now let's go on to the market. Big day here for the market. Minutes out this afternoon. And don't expect much of anything here this morning. Probably tries to fake lower. But it's not going to go anywhere. And my call for the market here today and this afternoon is that we rally move up higher. There's two possibilities for the minutes announcements today. One, we have an enormous rally and make a new high on the minutes announcements today, or we slosh around back and forth, still end up moving higher, but do not make a new high, and then follow through higher later this week. I do not think the reaction to the market will be negative this afternoon, no matter what they say. That's just my read of this price chart here. I'm just reading here that we're going to follow through, and I don't think we need a reason to do it, but I think whatever is said today could create that. Okay. Adobe, as we discussed, it doesn't cut the mustard. Trade at your own risk here. We'll have a short in it. Don't know if it's even right out of the gate. Spreading to... Don't mind the price point with the spread here like the WG, but the gap is just not good enough. And I don't even think you got a clean setup like I got in the Mew yesterday. We'll go over Mew when we're done. Oracle's the best gap. Oracle is the best gap. Boy, I have such a good eye. I didn't end up doing the bullish gap class yet. I had to change the date. But for those of you in here that didn't think this was, look, it's going right now. This is the best gap. Oh, my gosh, I'm so good at reading gaps. I'm, I can do it all. Longs and shorts. This is the best gap today. We're doing Oracle. And this is going too soon here now. Gosh darn it. Look at this. Look, that's buying people. You're seeing it live. This is the best gap. I told you a half an hour ago. Oh, you stinker. Well, I don't know where we get this now, but I'm going to be aggressive in it. And I put the targets in the room. I didn't put any dream targets. Let me just, I guess 46 is a dream target here. I really didn't even put that in the room. This is a go here for me. I'm doing Oracle, and it's a long today, which is unusual for me, but this is the best gap. And look, I just got the confirmation there. This is the best gap. As long as this doesn't open a reverse swoosh, I'm doing it. If it opens a reverse swooshes, it's off. And... I'm going long, which is unusual for me, but it's about the quality here, and this is it. And I'm really good at reading gaps because I saw it before it even did that little move in there, but I saw it actually last night. I said, oh. But I did tell you that no matter what this did, it was good. I said that yesterday. Uh, in an ideal world, this comes in a little bit first now with the push that I just had, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And the, the support numbers that I wrote in the room really have to hold, and the number I starred is the number that I really wanted to hold. It does not have to hold 44. And I have no idea what the stock is going to be on this. Not even any idea here. Good luck, everyone, today. Uh, Oracle's going without us. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I knew it. Yeah. 
Now, it was good before. See, do you see how we'll go over this when we're done? R squared, we'll go over this when they're done. That it's everything is in the everything I see in that cat. Everything, 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 everything. I, it's like I it's really this rating system, people, it's like I it's like it tells you, it's like it's 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 like an oracle. Speaking of oracle, it's like an oracle. It's like you're going to the oracle and the oracle's telling you what it's gonna do before it even does it. That's what the rating system does. That's how I knew this was good. I knew it was good before it even did that move. I said it this morning. And I'm gonna go long today, and I never go long hardly. And no one's done the bullish gap class yet because I haven't done it yet. But I'm telling you, it's just as good as the bearish one. And that's how, how do you think I'm calling the market long all the time? The gaps. Here we go. Pay attention. Good luck, everyone. Be on your toes today. And I'm only doing one thing here. It's Oracle Long with Reverse Wishes. I'm not going to do it. If I have time, then I'll go to the WG. Oh, we might get it. We might get a swoosh. Here, let's watch. Good luck, everyone. Oh, my gosh. If this swishes, I'm going to scream. All right, let's see. I'm going long, so you know this is not what I normally like to do, but here, look at this. Beautiful. No one should be in this yet. Market's going to try to come in a little bit. Oracle, gorgeous. Okay. I think this, ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Did you see the level two there? Look at that flickering. I'd rather this come in a little bit here. Let's just see what this does here. 57 by 20. 57 by 20 long oracle. We could do it. 57 by 20 could go. We're going to scalp it, though. Oh, no, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. There it goes. You could, here, stop 20 in this. I just missed it. Man, that hit hard. This, if this flurries up right to 45, though, you got to be out. You're almost scalping this here. Oh, I missed it. There it goes. It literally hit by the time I saw it. I'm not, I'm not chasing it either. I'm like, here it goes. Here it goes. I didn't get this. I called it and it hit like a second I saw it to call it. I didn't even have time to put in my sizing. If you're in this now, you're trying to get this up really, really, really quickly. You're scalping it. I'm going to wait then for this to reset up to take it myself. But this could just blow right up to 45. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I, I didn't even have time to put my size in the, I was trying to figure out where to put the stop, but I didn't even have time to even put in my size in the window. Here it goes. Here it goes. You're going to get it over 80. If, did anybody get this? This is a nice call. It's going to try to get right up to 45. Gosh darn it. I, I should have just hit the button with any size. Here, hold on. All right, as of right now, you've got the stop at 20, but this was really aggressive to do, and I would almost scalp it. That's what I said. Let's see here if I can get a better entry in this for myself here. <sighs> Hold on. Man, that hit hard. This level two is rocking and rolling. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see if this holds a low. If it holds a low or breaks it, boops it, then I'm going to take it. If not here, I don't I don't know if I'm going to get a proper, I don't know. Just stay with me here. If you already did it, you did it. It stops at 20 $46 in Oracle today, though. All right, I'm taking this here. I'm taking this here. I'm taking it here. Just putting the stop at 20. It's going to go. It's going to go. I've got the stop in. I just did it. It's going to go, and I can't wait anymore. Well, let's see. I took it with the stop at 20. Let's find out. I just took it. It came back into the price I originally called it, and I took it. Here, you can still do this here. Stop's got to be 20. Oh, 
Okay, we're going to get a better entry here, I think. So hold on. We are going to. We're going to get one. Stop's got to be 20 for everyone. And we're, I think we're going to get a better entry here with a smaller stop. So let's see. I'm going to do 61 by 30. 61 by 30, I'm doing an ad. 61 by 30. 61 by 30 if it hits here at Oracle. 61 by 30. There, there, 61. Wow, okay, here we go. Here we go. Get the stop in. 30 is a stop. This is going to go take off again. Any push up over the high? We're going to watch it to take some out. And yeah, this is a little wild, isn't it? You could take more right here. You could take more right here. Don't let it wait to get over the high to take more. If you want more, you could have done more than there in 61. Here we go. We got to get over the high. The high is 79. Man, this looks great. Oracle, 71. 71, you can take more. 71 by 30. 71 by 30, Oracle. In fact, let's put it at 29. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Pay attention. This is moving so fast. Nice call here. Nice, 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 nice. Here we go. Here we go. We got to get up over the high. 79. We got to go over 80. Forty-five. Let me just see. I said forty-five thirty-eight. Forty-five thirty-eight. Here it goes. You got to be in this now. Here it goes. It's going to go. Time of the day is good. 940. Beautiful call. Yeah. Beautiful call. Beautiful call. Beautiful move. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, people. Hand on the button here. Hand on the button. Hand on the button here. If it goes anywhere, runs right up to 45. I'm out of half. Hand on the button. 85. No, not yet. $46 for Oracle today. Man, do I have the guts to hold it to there? Let me just, 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 I can't answer anyone's questions right now. This is taking all my concentration. You're either in it with me or not. I mean, you could even take more here, although this is just, you know. Actually, this is not far from the original price if you want to take more. You could take more here because it's still in the 60s.
I moved the top, top stop to 29. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but let's just see. This could have another entry in here. Here it goes. It's going to go again. We got to get as much of this as we can up to 45 to make this worthwhile. So try your best to hold it. We're going to get over the high again. Try, 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 try your best. These are how longs are. If we played long every day, this is what it would be like, by the way. You know, this is what it would be like if we played long every day. If this is what this is like here. It's not the same as going short. <clears throat> You have to be a little more patient. But we're getting it. Here we go. Here we go. Stay with me here. Just follow my lead here on this today. We picked the best thing to do, and I knew it before it even set up. 85 is the high. we got to get over 85. We should push right up on over it, and we should get right up over to 45. $45. 45.38. 45.20-ish. 45.25. 45.30. Oh, Time of the day is good. Here we go. This is so good. I can't tell you how good this is. I'm seeing what the market's doing. This is such a great gap. Nice. Here we go. We're going to make a new high in this. Stay with me in the Oracle. Just ignore everything else in the world. Here we go. Over 85, we should blow right up to the whole number. And we're going to have to take half out. Unless it flurries over it. Oh, come on. Oh, you have to be so patient. Here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to pay attention to so many things here, just trying to add up and see here. Okay, come on. Man, uh, yeah, this really, this, could, this is going to get to 46 today. I, I've got, I'm going to have to get out of half of it up to the next number of the first target, but I'm telling you, it's going to 46. It's going to 46. It's going to 46.00 today. This is so gorgeous. Look at it. I knew it as soon as I saw it last night. As soon as I saw it last night. And I didn't say no chance of failure in this today because I really thought there was a possibility that it actually could have reverse swooshed. And I didn't want all everybody to get nuts. Uh, but I knew this was a good gap. I rated it. I told you. I put it in the room. Here we go. Come on, Oracle. Let's go. Up to 45. 943. Come on. You can do it. This looks so great. I hope you're all with me. This is how. Here, here we go. Here. I can't pay attention to anything. Let's just try to book some money in this quickly, quickly, quickly. Here we go over the high oracle. I hope nobody killed it. I hope nobody killed it because now's when you're going to get paid. Let it go over 85. Let it make a new high in here. Time of the day is great. Let it push right up to 10 o'clock. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, come on, you. Ugh, 85, 83. Come on today. You could have taken more a million times, too. I mean, you could have taken more so many different times, too.
I'm telling you, when this gets up, it's, it's it, the longer this takes to get up to here, the bigger the move it's going to have over it. So you do whatever you got to do here. But if you've got the patience, the longer this takes to get up here, the bigger the move it's going to have when it gets over it. And I can't call any more entries in it, really. And you can change a stop, and I even gave it 29 then. I mean, literally, you could take more here. You could take more here if you want. $46 is the target today, but the stop has to be 29 This is still a good risk-reward trade, but you'd really have to hold at least a piece of it up to 46 This will get to $46 today, 100% conviction. And I didn't write that number in the room because I didn't even know it was going to open this morning. I wrote 45 and 45.38, but I will tell you that when I saw the flurry then into the open, I knew then that 46 And look at this thing here. Try to hold it. This is how longs are. This is, you know... You have to be so patient. This is, you have to be so patient. Look at me. I'm being patient today, too. Come on, Oracle. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Here it is. This is beautiful. We'll go over this when we're done in the Mew. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> Look at how you're testing our conviction today, Oracle. Oracle's really testing our patience is what it's testing or something. I don't know. Just let it push. Let it push, 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 push. Push over 85, Oracle, one penny, two penny, three penny, four. Here we go, yes, let's go. Come on, it just touched 85, it's going to do it. Let, there, yay, Oracle, okay, here we go, right up to 45. Beautiful call by me, the stocks wish. Here we go, right up to 45. Everybody still should be in this. No one should kill this. I told you where to go with this. $46 if you can stand it, but I'm going to be out of half of this up to the next target. Oh, come on, go, go, go. 9.47. Nine four seven. Come on, rock and roll right up there. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Yes. All right, I just took half out now. I just took half out now. I just took half out now for the first push. And I just put the stop in for the rest of 29. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can get another dollar out of the half here. I just took half out of that real quick in case it flurries down again. It's because it's almost 10 o'clock. I put the stop back in for 29. Let's see if we can hold the rest of the half that we can to get a dollar out of this puppy. Let's see if we can do it. This is a great gap, people. And we just this I was just protecting myself by getting half out here. Oh, that was a good, that was a good idea. Look at that. That was a good idea. But I'm telling you, let's see if we can get this up to 46. All right, let's look at the market. Let's look at the market here. Great call. Market is red and Oracle is gorgeous. And remember, don't think you're getting sucked into anything here. You're getting sucked into nothing here. The market isn't falling. It's going to rally today in the minutes or go nowhere here this morning. It's not going to do anything. Don't even think this is going anywhere down because it's not. I just look at the spy. My charts are so, so slow today and I have no idea why. Oracle, 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 Oracle. This here, here we go. Here we go. Push, 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 push. And if you didn't get out of half just where I did that second ago, then you could get out of half when it pushes up to 45. But I wasn't going to hold it for like six more pennies just to get out of half in case it came in again. But we are going to try to hold this now if we can up to 46. Or as close as we can. I should have taken more. I say this every day. <laughs> Except for with the plug. But, I mean, this hit, this gave you 10,000 chances. 10,000 to take more. All right, let me look at the comments. Uh, WG. This, all right, I didn't, I didn't see anyone's comments about anything. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. It has a 25-cent spread. I'm glad we didn't do this. Did anyone do this? Did anyone actually do this? And if you actually did it, did you actually get filled? Okay, I just missed everything everybody just said here. I literally ignored the room because I was watching Oracle and it was moving so fast. Okay, WG has been halted. I kept us out of trouble. Did anyone do this? It looks like it's halted now. Let me just see here what happened. 
Hold on, I have to pay attention to this one second. Okay, we're okay with this. All right. Uh, wow. Okay, did anyone do this? Gosh, instinct. This was a good gap. It fell $2, three, but it got halted, and I don't know why. I didn't even see this. Jaffa's writing in the room, it got halted. Did anyone do this? I'll go over that in a minute, Star Trader. Did anyone do this at all? Please write it in the room and tell me. The stock is halted, and I did not call it, and we didn't do it. Yes or no? Is anyone in this WG? It's halted. All right. Do exactly what I do. Do exactly what I do. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Exactly what I do. I can't say that enough. But it did work as a short, <laughs> which I told you that it would. <laughs> wow. Okay, let me look at the other comments here. You're in it full. Time is ticking on the longs. This is how longs are. Why do you think I prefer to go short? Is what a reverse swoosh? Star Trader, this is, this is not a reverse swoosh at all. And it's actually not a swoosh either. It's just a rally. But when this opened here, I thought, oh my Lanta, it could swoosh, I thought to myself. And you know what? Actually, if the market wouldn't be dropping this morning, this probably would have swooshed. But it didn't. Swooshed up. But anyways, this didn't, this did everything fine. It was gorgeous. I actually missed the first entry here. But then it came in. It didn't really matter in the end for me. In the end for me, it didn't really matter. I, I got, I decided to do, here, here's what happened. Some of you did it here. I said 57. 57 by 20, I said. Boy, we got a good entry in this. And then, and then I saw this happen in this bar, and I just, I took it. I actually bought it in a red bar because I thought, crap, what if this doesn't, what if we don't get another chance here? And then I said you could buy it over 60, 61, I said. And so it was negligible. But the reality was that this could have just gone right up to 45 here. It just it moves so fast. I, I didn't even have, I didn't even have time in my brain to size myself. I need more coffee. Uh, you got filled at 58, good. WG is in a volatility hall? Probably, yeah, that makes sense. Circuit breaker or whatever. Now let's go over here, here just, just very quickly here before we actually go over this. If you can't stand holding this, you're all out of it. I'm sorry to tell you. If you can stand holding the half, you're going to get pain, which is what I chose to do, and, and, and you're not going to lose in it, so why not? So basically, that's the story. So you, you got out of the half and you made one R and, 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 you, and you're not going to lose if it stops out. So you hold the rest to get paid on the move of the rest and you're not going to lose no matter what happens. And if, it, if you took out of the hole, it's because you have to get to work or do something else. It's almost 10 o'clock or you don't have the patience and that's fine too. But you're going to have to hold this to get paid, really, today. And it is going to 46. And it's probably going to 46 before lunch. Let me just see here. I, that would it'd be so nice if this went up to 46 before lunch. Let me just see what Adobe did, and then I'll go over the Oracle. Just I just forgot to look at this. <gasps> look at that. <gasps> oh, I hope nobody did this. I told you it's going to have one short move and probably go nowhere and not be playable. Look, you would have had to take it and immediately get out. And if you took it here, you would have to immediately get out. And look, look what this is doing against the market. No can doozers. Here, Oracle, hold on. Here we go. Let's push up to the number now. Come on. No more trades in this. No, you should be in this already. I can't even call this again. Wouldn't make any sense. Stop has to be 30 or 29. And basically, nice call. And it's a long. All right, let's go over it. So the gist of the story is that I prefer to do shorts. Why? Shorts move faster, quicker, harder, faster, shorter. We're done earlier. And bigger. To the target faster. But 
long, so you can make just as much money going long. You can make just as much money going long as you can going short, except for the fact that you have to have more patience. Also, longs do things like this, which we saw. This kind of thing here. And I told you, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it. Then it did this here. I said, stay with it. Then it did this here. And I said, stay with it. I said, stay with it, stay with it. Because I understand how to read price. And I know the gap. The gap is why we did this. And this is why we're at money. But do you know that people tried to fade this today? It's called fading a gap. I'm sure there are trading rooms out there. R squared, you can write it in the room. I'm sure there are trading rooms out there that tried to fade this today to fill the gap. To fill the gap, meaning they tried to short it. You see this here, people tried to short it here. People tried to short it here. People tried to short it here. People probably tried to short it here and here and here and here. And people are still trying to short it. People are going to try to short it again at 45, which is why you're going to have to write that, note that number down and take some out in case it makes a topping tail jiggy. People are going to try to short this at 45. What do I mean by people? I mean traders. Traders that have no stinking clue how to trade like a professional. I'm a professional trader. I'm teaching you people how to be professionals. You could do this for the rest of your life and you could go work at a legitimate trading firm. You could go work for a hedge fund. You could go work someplace and make money for somebody And because I'm teaching you actually how to trade like a professional. I was talking to somebody yesterday, I forget who it was, about, oh, it was Steve. And I was saying, he's like, are you really going to go run a hedge fund? I said, no, I'm not doing that right now, but I wouldn't put it out of the realm of possibility that someday I I would, or the fact that I could, because I could, I could. Why? Because you know what? I would see the Oracle Gap this morning, and I, if I ran this, I would have saw it last night. I would have saw it last night if I ran a hedge fund. I said, we're buying this. We're buying Oracle tomorrow morning. We're buying it tonight in the post market. Buy it. Buy Oracle. We're in this thing. It's higher. It's going to make a new high this year. I decided in the hedge fund that I, Melissa, the stocks which would run. I'd say, we buy an Oracle. And I would have said it last night because I saw this last night. And you know what? I wouldn't care about it reverse swooshing if I'm running a hedge fund because I knew it was a good gap. The reverse swoosh has to do with the entry as a day trader, but that has nothing to do with the gap itself, itself, okay? Because the gap rated well itself, and I wouldn't care about that if I was a hedge fund because I'm not taking dinky positions. I'm buying a stock for a long-term trade that I'm going in along to make money for the long-term, and I could care less if it reverse swooshes if I run a hedge fund. And actually, I'm, think, I'm thinking this now. If something swooshes and I would run a hedge fund, I probably would get heavier in it, knowing it would go to a bigger number. But I wouldn't care about the reverse swoosh because I wouldn't be intraday playing anything if I ran a hedge fund. I'd be getting in the position for the stock. There's $50. $50 is the long-term target on Oracle for a long. Not long-term, but you know, next target up here. This year, this will get to $50 with the market. I'm not saying I'd even get out at $50 if I ran a hedge fund, but the point I'm trying to make is that the way that I teach you how to trade is like a professional, not like a day trader. Day traders are attempting to short Oracle to fill the gap, and I understand that. The conviction of the gap rating itself and the read on the gap that I have in the numbers keeps us in this position here and keeps us in the trade long while all these dinger ringers try to short this in here that are traders, and actually they're doing it with pretty much darn good size. Look here, 268, 268,000. This isn't like a poop. You know, traders are trying to short this that actually have money. It's a terrible thing to do. And you lose. You're not, you're, you, you, if you follow what I taught you to do, you will make money over the course of your entire life if you take my class and follow what I taught you to do. There's no way you can lose unless you have a huge, massive discipline problem. But the actual information reads institutional positioning and stocks and the market. And you, you would have to have such an enormous discipline problem that you wouldn't make money doing what I tell you. It would be ridiculous. You would probably just by default, even if you had a discipline problem, because it works so well. You just go with the rating. Oh my gosh, R squared, let me look at that. Uh, it takes longer to play out, you're, you drank a cup of coffee waiting for the first setup. <laughs> really like Oracle, not doing anything wrong, happy to hold. Okay, R squared just put in the room, and I'll go back to talk about the rest of Oracle in a minute, that somebody is looking to buy this in some other room he's in. That's insane. Does anyone want to tell me why that's insane before I tell you why it's insane? Then we'll go back to the Oracle because this is the other watch today. R squared is in another trading room. 
I don't know why. But anyways, he is. And he said that this is being bought and was called as a long in another trading run. I think they're up seven pennies. But in any event, why is that a terrible thing? And no one should be long this. Don't even touch it. No one should short it or go long it. Does anyone want to guess why? Jaffo says that's crazy. R squared is laughing out loud. Why? Because I told you you shouldn't be in any other room. Mr. Mom is tempted to get in again. You were all out at 4490 of the Oracle. Here, I'm going to call Oracle one more time here. If you want to take it, you can do it. Stop is 50. 50. 25 cents if you want another trade in Oracle. It's a kamikaze because it really should be 29. If you got all out, you want to do it again, put the stop at 50. Here you go. 25 cents, 30 cents. Oracle, if you didn't get it, here are Oracle over the high to the next number. I just called a kamikaze. Mr. Mom needed something for his kids to feed him tonight. Here you go. You can take him again. Right in here. Stop 50. This is a kamikaze though because the better call was the one I made 10 hours ago and the stop should be 29 and I'm still in half of this. All right, let's go back to this. Why, 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 why should no one be going along this? No one even cares, anyone know? Nobody wants to guess? You don't want to swim upstream? Well, that's a good way to put it. It got halted. It got halted. It got halted twice, Jocko said. This stock was halted. That's it. Shut it down. You're not going long it. You're not short it. You're taking it off your jiggy. It got halted. Yes, yeah, Surf Dog gets a star today. Surf Dog gets a gold star today. It got halted. The stock got halted. Do you want to be long a stock that's at this price point overnight or stuck in it for the rest of your life? What was that one? I forget. Quick, R squared, tell me. It was like elephant something or whatever. There was one the guy got stuck in it and never got out of it. They shut it down then. It went, it went kaputs. It went bankrupt or something. It got halted. It got halted. First of all, it was an insane short this morning. And if you actually did this and got out, which, you know what? Actually, if we had did this, if I even would have gotten filled, if I had done this, I bet I would have been out before I got halted. In fact, I'm sure that I would have. Well, no, it looks like it got halted here. I, I think I still well, I might have been out. Look, it looks like it halted between 9.32 and 9.37. I got halted for five minutes. If I would have gotten out of this before the second halt hat, if, if I had done this, I would have been out here because of the move, which is insane. And if I hadn't, and it got halted, and, and then it reopened here, I would have immediately got out of it, and I would have got out of it with profit. And I would have been safely protected, but I never would have done it again. And I certainly would never do this again. And you would never, never do anything this again because it still could get halted again today. That's like what people do. They take crazy risk. To make two R's, one R, three pennies, 20 cents, that's just dumb. And see the difference between that person? That person could never successfully run a hedge fund. Would you give $10 million of your own money $10 million of your own money, you're a wealthy person. I come to you and I say, listen, I'm going to start, I'm thinking about starting a hedge fund. Would you give me $10 million if you had it? I've got to raise money. i got to raise, i got to raise a billion dollars, 100 million, whatever, whatever I can to get going. I come to you, you're very wealthy. I say, I need $10 million. I'm starting a hedge fund. What do you want to, you want to come in with me? Would, would, would I, a hedge fund, buy this? <laughs> Piece of crap. But a trader would. Some trader is in some room that R squared is talking about and in. And it got halted. Forget about the fact that it's a piece of crap. It got halted. I don't believe that. I think that's a lie, R squared. Will Bros files to delay 10K due to covenant breach. Is that what, what are you talking about? Oh, okay, here. This is from... This is from the Jotho. He likes to look up these jiggies here. This is the WB. That's from Jotho. All right, hold on. Let's go over the Oracle. First of all, did anyone not do it? Actually, I'm interested to see if Trader Gal did it because she usually doesn't do the longs. and This was expensive. Did you do it or not? Did anyone not do Oracle? Was anyone concerned because we usually short every day in here not to do the Oracle because of the fact that we actually were going long? Did anyone not do it? Trader Gal didn't do it. I thought maybe you might not, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, I know we don't normally go long, but 
Today we had to. Oh, FOMC, you're sitting out. Well, that, that actually makes complete sense. And actually, you could put that in your training plan. And you could put that in there. Cal traded into Oracle. That's okay. You're new. That's actually fine. Um, and that's fine. Man, this looks good here again, though. This is a legitimate call now, not a kamikaze. 83 by 50 Oracle. You're doing that if you're adding for the original position, you're going to cost average your price higher. If you do that, you've got to hold this up to another number. But this is not a kamikaze anymore. 83 by 50, 33 cents Oracle up over the high to the next target. It's going to hit. And I called it a little bit ago, 75 by 50. And this looks really actually very good here now. But, I mean, it's been good all day. Let's go over the trade, and then I want to go over something else that I was thinking about that just made me think about this with the Oracle. So I called this here. I didn't get it. It literally went, Puh! and I and I, did, I, I like I just was like, what? And I didn't even have time to figure out my sizing. I was like, crap. And then I, I was like, all right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. But it didn't go right up to the target. Some of you did get it. Very nice. I should have just pressed it with anything. A million shares. Anyways. Then it came in, and I took it in the red bar, and then I called a legitimate trade here. I said, ticket at 61. Stop was 30. Rally. And then... I said, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay with it, stay And you see here how, oh, look at this. Hold on. Let's see if this holds 50. I bet it does. Now, I still have the original half with a stop at 29 of the original one. And so here's what I did. So anyways, it ran up here. It almost got there, and then I just took half out because I thought, you know what, this is silly to hold this for six pennies into the next, into past 10 o'clock. But actually, this could have done a sandwich, which it did, and gone right up to 45. But I think it would have halted around 45-ish. Instead, it halted a few pennies before 45-ish. But I'm out of half this trade. And we're protected here no matter what happens. Now, I do have the stop at 29. If you did any of these in here, which was the kamikaze and put it at 50. The 83 by 50 didn't trigger. You're still in it, but the stop then is 50. And I don't know if this is going to hold right at 50, but it, to be honest, it should. If not, oh, here, let's see. Hold on. Nope, 50 didn't hold. This is going to have a completely second setup here now in the 15 minute. Here's traders trying to short it. Exactly what I was talking about. This is going to have a complete new entry. I don't know if I want to do that or not because it's the minutes at 2 o'clock. <sighs> Let me just think. Look, see, the market didn't come anywhere hardly in. Market's not going to go anywhere to the minutes. Uh, let me just see here. This is going to completely set up on the 15-minute chart and the 5-minute chart. And it's going to have another entry right at our original price or better it. Oh, crap, what should I do? Should I take more? You could take more over 60. You could take 61, 61 by 29, 61 by 29. And I said it should hold 50. It broke it by three pennies. It's not a conniption here. But honestly, if you had it at 50 and you did the kamikaze, you did get stopped out. I didn't do that. I'm in the original trade with a stop at 29. But it's just still going to go on. You could take more at 61. And this counts as a hold, to be honest with you. And, and that's why I didn't want to lower the stop for myself, and I didn't. This isn't going to break the low of the day. But actually, this counts as a hold of 50. It's only three pennies. You could take more over 61. It's at the same exact place that you were at, 57 or 61 or wherever you're in, or wait for the 15 minute or call it again. Uh, all right, let's, so anyways, this is what we did. So we took it. Well, I called it here, but I didn't take it here. I did the pull in. Here, if you were in it, you took it up. Pulled in here, I took it, took it up, got out of half. Got out of half right in here. I still have half this. Stop is here. I'm waiting for it to go. You have to be very, very patient with longs. It's 10-10 and now we didn't even get up to the next target. You see how it is? If we were in a short, we'd be probably at the second or third target by now. See the difference? Now forget about the fact that this actually got halted. 
But this WG did actually get to every target in the world and then some right in the first 10 minutes of the day. So that's why I like to short over going long. But you still get the exact same kind of momentum and profitability and everything in longs, except for you have to stay with them longer. And you just do. It's not something that I like to do. This is going to set up again for short. You can do this again, 61 by 29. Oh. I'm going to just leave what I got. But you really could take more, 61 by 29. It's really tempting now. Well, I'm not going to get nuts today. Anyways, uh, traders try to short this. That's what they're doing right now. There's people shorting this, but it's being bought by hedge funds and institutions, and that's why we went long. It's a good long. And I'll set up long again, and I'll still get up to the next number. And I said 46 today on this. So I want to talk about one more thing, but before I talk about that, does anybody want to go over anything with Oracle at all? I think Trader Gal didn't do it. I think she's the only one that didn't do it. And if you have a rule you don't trade on FOMC days, that's fine. That's completely 100% fine. Anyone have any questions or something else I was going to go over then if you don't? Everybody quiet? Nobody has any questions about Oracle? Everyone should be out of this completely or in half with me. Stop 29. You shouldn't have the whole thing. It's going to reset up again. 61. Stop still 29. This will hold the low of the day. Oh, this is so tempting to take more. Okay, the market's trying to hold here now. I, I don't think this goes anywhere. I just don't think this goes anywhere until the morning. But I did tell you, don't think this drop off's going anywhere, which it's not. Market is so strong. So, so strong. And I went along the market yesterday afternoon. Market was a long. Market is a long. Market is so beautifully long. And actually, it's just higher, which I've been saying now for so long. Uh, I'm gonna leave what I have, but this is gonna this is gonna set up again. I see what I just did here. This is still so good, people. Anyways, any questions about Oracle? If not, I was gonna go over the other thing I was gonna go over. Any other questions about this at all? Everybody's very quiet today. Everyone should be up. If you shorted WG, which was the top short, you were up. If you went long Oracle, which was the top gap. And what I did, you're up. The 15 minute Jaguar Paw. But that's not what I wanted to talk about here. What I want to talk about is something somebody ended up emailing me that I that made me think about it. This is a couple days ago, and I forgot it. About uh, it made me think of it. We were talking about hedge funds and things and this and that with the uh, uh, Oracle. Boy, this is really slow here today. Someone emailed me, did I short Oracle, whatever day this was, 313. It was Friday. And I said, absolutely not. Absolutely not even close. No way, no how, absolutely not. And obviously, this person shorted Oracle and that uh, Alta on this day, and they, they had made money because obviously the stock went red on the day. And so if you did short Oracle at the correct placement on Friday, you made money. Did I do that? No. Did I even look at this? No. Uh, would I have shorted this? No. In fact, let's look at the open. It never set, it never set up right. It never set up right uh, for me to do anything with it. It was just a no play. But 
Trader shorted this. Again, going back to what I was using the example of Oracle, that's what made me think of it. Faded it. It was a bullish gap up that Trader sh faded, faded to come in, and it did come in, but it, I would not have done that. But I wouldn't have gone long this either because it didn't set up right. Okay. Here's the first bar of the day, pushed up to 156 and then came in very, very hard here to 152.41. So I wouldn't have done anything with this at all. But traders did short this. So somebody had emailed me and thought that they were fabulous and thought that I would have done this. This is nothing that I ever would have done, okay? Even if I had watched it, I would have watched it for a long, I didn't rate it. So I don't know what I would have rated it. But the reality is I would have never shorted it. And even if I had looked to go long it, it never set up to go long. So I wouldn't have gone long it. It was immediately, it was immediately something that was a failure and I wouldn't have gone long. But I wouldn't have shorted it. But I got to tell you, this is the exact kind of thing that could have happened today in Oracle. It didn't. It's not going to. But I'm saying this is where it gets to be. This is where, this is the difference between this and this. I know R squared, you and I just completely disagree. So don't even try to convince me. You're never going to do it. It's just impossible. And I know that I'm right. And you can think whatever you want to think, but don't even try to convince me. Anyways, this thing here, okay, do you see this thing here? This is what we did today long. Now go over to this. Do you see this here? So let's just say this is, we, we talk about this in the gap class, but, and we were talking about this the other day. So your mind, if you do the or, uh, if you do the Ulta, you did the Ulta Friday, you shorted it. Let's say you made $1,500, which you could have easily made, although you would have risked a decent amount here because the stock was big. But let's say you had the buying power and you shorted the stock and you, you made $1,500. You had a comma day on Ulta and you never had a comma day before in your life. So you love Ulta. And now you love this idea of fading a stock. And so you made $1,500 in your mind, in your brain, that brain part of you, which is the part of you that allows you to trade well. That's the reason that I'm a good trader is because of my mind. That, then your mind associates, okay, this type of look, this, this thing, this pattern, this look with money. And then you see the Oracle, and you want to do the exact same thing. You say, oh, my gosh, I'm going to do the same thing with the Oracle today. It's gapped up big, you know, and yada, yada, yada. And you're going to short Oracle today after it rallies a little bit or right away or wherever you decide to do it or whatever or it shows any red. And you short it and because in your mind you're thinking it's the exact same thing. And I'm going to make another $1,000 or more today having a fabulous day. And, in fact, not only that, you probably – think now you can take even more. So you take even more risk in the Oracle than you did in the Ulta, and you actually uh, short it, okay? And then it doesn't work, and you get stopped out. And then you see another one like this, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. So all of a sudden now you've done 10 Oracles, lost in 10 trades just because of the one Alta that you did that you made the money in. So you actually now have lost all the $1,500 you made from the Alta, and you're down probably $5,000 from doing the same kind of thing over and over again because you think that it works or that's what you should be doing because your mind associates money with that type of look of that type of pattern because your mind does associate money with things. It's like a sense. It's like uh, it's like you, like your senses associate something like when you smell coffee or when you eat chocolate. This is really actually looks like it needs to be taken again here by me. I can't believe this came all the way in like this, but it really looks like it's going to have enough. Here, 51. 51 by 29. That's a crazy stop in this. It's so late. It's 10.15. I'm not going to take more, but you actually could. This is so – this is really – this is such a great entry. 51 by 29. It's so late. I'm not going to take more. I still have the half. But 51 by 29 is going to set up probably in the 5 minute and the 15 minute of Oracle. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, um, your mind associates that with money just like we do with, with, with anything, with alcohol or sweets or our physical senses. 
and your mind associates that with a feeling of happiness. This is where your emotions actually come in play with your trading. But emotions are good. You use them to your advantage if you use them correctly. But if you know, in, in, in your mind and your emotions associate happiness with Alta and shorting it, which is a terrible, terrible, terrible play, okay, you will do that over and over and over and over and over again and end up losing everything you made in Alta and 10 times over or more never understanding why or what you did. It's not as simple as just doing something like a fade like that. Because for all intents and purposes, Alta could have held, held in the middle of the sky and rallied. It didn't on the day, but it could have, okay? I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. I don't know how that gap would have rated. I didn't play it and I didn't rate it. I did not rate that gap in Alta. But I'm saying the same thing could have played out with Oracle today. It rated well, it worked, we're long it, okay? But I know the trader shorted this. So the reality is if you, if, you, if you train your brain to do the right thing all the time, you will consistently make money. If you, if you have associations with positive money days by doing things that make no sense, here's another one, this thing right in here. Going long this makes no sense, above and beyond the fact that it got halted. Okay, It fell off the planet this morning fell two dollars down into the open. But if you associate buying a stock like this, then with money, you will do this and it will fail 99% of the time. Do you see? And, and if it works a day, you do it here, you make 20 cents. It's just not worth it. You have to train your brain to do things right. Man, this is really, 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 really good here at 51 by 29. If it wouldn't be FOMC minutes announcements, I'd be taking this more again. But it is. It is, and it's it's 1022. That's here. Here again. Long stick forever. Look, this is going to set up again as a long, and you'll be in this for two more hours, but the minutes announcements are at 2 o'clock. If, if we didn't have the minutes announcements today, this would be a beautiful... Beautiful 15 minute that you can hold all afternoon to the close. But the problem is that there is a minutes announcement out too. And I do think we have a positive reaction, but you really shouldn't be in anything when that happens because things can get herky jerky. Convince me to go along something like this here, R squared. Just can't do it. I'll never call it in the room. You never see me call crap like this in the room. Fifty-one by twenty-nine at Oracle. Best entry here I've called all day, although you should already be in it. And if you killed it because you had to get going, fine. If you killed it because you didn't want to hold it, then this is what it is, doing longs. And I said before, we are going to go long this year because we're not going to have a choice. Anyways, it's about training your brain to do the right thing. If you do not train your brain to do the right thing, you will never reach the level of consistency to make this in the long haul. And the only way to make it in the long haul as a trader is to be consistent. It just and, and when I say that, I mean that for the long haul. I mean, there are people, and I said this in the email that I sent in December of 2014, four months ago. There are people that in 2015 made money in 2013 and 2014 that will lose money in 2015 that are professional traders or not. I shouldn't say professionals. They're big traders. Traders, they trade. They trade for a living. They're going to lose money this year because things aren't going to work the same as they used to. And they're going to have a bad year. And people go through spurts where they make money for six months but then lose for three. Or make money for eight months and then lose for three. Or make money for 12 months and then lose for, for 16. That is not consistency to me. When I say consistency, I mean consistency for the long haul means for, for forever. Forever, basically consistently. That doesn't mean you don't go through a point where you have a bad day or a bad week. But you don't have a period where you have bad months, like for two, three, four, six months or years. No. You don't, that's not consistent to me. If you want to be consistent, consistent is consistently consistent. That you're making money, okay, then you have to train your brain right. And many traders do not understand conceptually what that means or the importance of that. But it is vital to actually trading and making money consistently for a the length of time that you want to do this, if you want to do it for a living or if you want to do it even for something that you want to make money in part-time.
because it drains you if you are not consistent. Because the down days that you have or the down weeks or the down months when you get hammered really can take a toll on you emotionally. And not only that, they can age you. They can age you. It takes a toll on you financially and emotionally. You lose your confidence level. You lose your conviction. And, and who wants to go through that nonsense? You know. All right, does anyone have any questions about the Oracle? It's going to set up again. This is even going to be better than the one I just said. You could actually even do it here. I'd still wait for 50. You could do it right at 50. 50 by 29. 50 by 29, Oracle, for an ad or a new trade or stop has never been changed for me. This doesn't take any talent to do this, R squared. It's not talent to buy something that's at this placement. Obviously, people shorted this this morning, and the green is the covering. This isn't getting bought by any hedge fund or institution. You, you can barely see the, the green bars have no size in them, no length. This is rallying. And this is short covering that's happening in here. And you, you, no one should be buying short covering. You're buying, buying, and you're shorting, selling. And that's how you make money. That's actually how you make money in the market. You short selling action and you buy stuff that's getting bought. You don't buy short covering and you don't short long covering. That's what this was. And if you shorted this, you shorted people that were selling out of covering their long position that made the red. Because everybody was up a lot in Oracle the day that it gapped up and opened here. Because the night before it closed here at 144.82 and it rallied up here and opened at 155.09. And people that were long this were up a lot of money and they sold out of the long position. You don't short long covering and you don't buy the reverse, which is short, co uh, selling, short covering here. You make money in the market by shorting selling action and buying stuff that's going to be bought. Which is exactly what we did today. And this is setting up again right in here. Oh, man, do I want to do this? Hold on. I actually can't even believe I'm still thinking about it. It's going to hit the minute I think about it. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here, here it goes again, Oracle. You can take more here. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave what I got just because of the minutes. I'm going to leave what I got just because of the minutes. But this is a great entry in here. The, 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 the predicament that most people have, I will say, is they can't figure out what is getting sold or what is getting bought. So this is where the gap analysis comes in with the 26 points. So just because you see red, you know, you, if you, it's not that simple to just see the red and say it's selling or see the red or see the green and say it's buying. you got to know the difference. And it's not as simple as even seeing the trend of it. If it was that simple, there wouldn't be 26 points. It would be one thing you'd say, oh, just do this or do this or do this or do that. No. It's, it's hard for people to tell when something's getting bought or sold or shorted. It's hard. I have a, a knack to do that, but the 26 points tells me that. But it's not as simple as just seeing green and knowing it's being bought or short covering or seeing red and knowing it's being sold or having, or having, the, sh or having the long covering. And it's not as simple as just looking at the overall trend or something like I just explained with the Alta. It's not as simple as that. If it was as simple as that, we'd all do the same thing. We'd all make money. And it's not as simple as that. It's just not. It's just not. It's just not looking about looking at one thing or two things even. It's about looking at 26 things. And that's a lot of things. But you get good at doing it. You learn it. You do it. You're in here the room. You make money. You take the trades. It, it doesn't have to take forever. And it doesn't take a million hours in the morning for me to figure out what I like. And I don't rate 2,500 gaps in the morning either. I get a watch list together. I look at the ones I like. I rate them. It takes me less than five minutes. I like to study them and really, really take my time. But that's just me. And if you're in here in the room, I tell you what I like. And I tell you the the point rating too. But it is not about just looking at one thing. And it's and you have to tell what the green or the red means. And something like this, so I think it's very, 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 very easy to see this in here. It's so easy to see this in here. It's not even funny. But I'm just saying though that um, that's, I'm just telling you, this is really how you make money. This is what we're talking about in the original thing I was saying. In the long haul of things, 
You make money doing something like this. You do not make money doing something like this. If you did this on the day, like that guy did last week, he made money. But he has imprinted his brain now in an incorrect fashion that will be that will do a disservice to him as a trader, and he will it he will lose money in the market because he has imprinted his brain now to think positive, happy, monetary. Uh, thoughts about something like this. There was a terrible, 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 terrible trade. And this is a terrible, 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 terrible trade too. Okay? So we do good trades in here and that's how you make money consistently over the long haul and it's the only way you're going to do it. And on top of that, it's because of the fact that we're imprinting our brain to see things in a fashion that allows us to take the risk, have the conviction and do it even even at times when it seems impossible, um, which I can't think of any right now. Uh, I can't even think of one. Like, what was the last impossible thing that I called? Uh, I don't even know. But, you know, it's like even how am I able to make some of the impossible calls that I've made because of the fact that I've imprinted my brain in such a fashion that I just see it. I don't even have to think. The wheels aren't turning for hours. I saw this on the last night. I said, oh, I said, oh, there it is. You know, you just, the, my wheels and my brain is imprinted there. This is, I'm teaching you this because I, you want to have your brain function like mine. That's how you're going to do it. And it just sees it. I still go through and I read it. But what I'm trying to teach you is you can be as good as me. You can get there, but you have to do what I tell you. And you have to imprint your brain so that it goes, Choo! And it's like your brain takes a picture. I'm trying to teach you to train your brain if you want to be like me. It takes a picture and it just goes a snapshot. It goes, Choo! there it is. And you see it and you just do it. And that's how you can hit the button with a you know $1,000 risk and go, Doo! and then all of a sudden you're up all the money. 15-minute chart is setting up. Yes, sir, right, Surf Dog? I already called it. You could already be in it. 29 is a stop here. You could have taken more 50-51. Um, <laughs> great Gatsby's back in the WG. I call this crap because it is crap, but we were going to short it today because it was crap. I didn't, I didn't. Why? It was very, very spready in the morning. And I thought to myself, I, first of all, I didn't, even, I didn't have this number written down as a target. I mean, let's just get real here. And that's one of the reasons it got halted. But I mean, if I had wanted to do it or was going to do it, I would have done it. I would have done it. I would have made money shorting it. But I'm just saying here that I did not like the spread. The spread this morning was very wide and had a lot of volume. And the price point was cheap, which I didn't bother me, but it did with the spread. And I thought, you know what, how can I take a 30 cent risk in something, which this would have been basically, or more, you know, to make 30 cents. That's not my cup of tea. As it turns out, as it actually turns out, you actually had the risk to reward in this, which is insane. But again, it goes to the quality of the gap. You actually, this is, you know, who would have thought? But you would have had a good risk to reward trade in this if you played it out yourself with everything I taught you. I didn't call it and I didn't do it, but I told you you could watch it. I didn't know it was going to get halted. After it did, I said, don't touch it with a 10 foot pole. And that's the right thing to, to do. And I would never do it. So I tell you what I do. But anyways, this actually had risk to reward. But meaning a piece of crap because it got halted, okay? It got halted twice. I think it's very risky to actually participate in a stock that is halted on the day. That's very risky to me. That's beyond speculation. That's actually kind of being stupid. It'd be stupid to play the stock today. It got halted twice. It'd be stupid to short it and stupid to go long it because you can get stuck in it. And it may never open up again. In fact, it got halted twice. So not only did it get halted once today, it got halted twice. Okay? Who's to say it's not going to get halted a third time? That, that stuff happens. It's like a circuit breaker. There's too many people in it, too many trades, too much going on. They can't keep up with the orders. And they have to say, whoa, Nelly, and they hold it. they got to control what's happening here. Somebody asked you. Okay? Um, I was going to say something else and I just forgot. I lost my train of thought. 
You tell me. You tell me, Great Gatsby. Great Gatsby saying about going long. You tell me. Would you want to go long WG today? You tell me. You tell me, Great Gatsby. You answer that question. I want you to answer it. I'm going to look up the list of stuff for tonight while you're while you're answering that question because there's nothing else for me to call here today. And the only thing I called was Oracle anyways. And, uh, and it's the only thing I'm in. And the minutes are out at 2. Let's just see what's out tonight for things to look at. And But you tell me, Greg Gassi, while I'm looking at the list for tonight. I want you to answer it. You should know the answer to that question anyways, but answer it. You know what the best way I can use to describe this? Well, go ahead. You answer it. You answer it. I'm going to make the list here. You finish writing. Let me just make the list for tonight. And anybody else that wants to comment or any questions, because basically I'm done for the day here. Wherever this goes, this goes. WSM is out tonight. Watch list for tonight. I'm just plopping this in the room that I'll I'll pick out the ones I like. I didn't pick through these yet. Let me go through these. Oracle stop is 29 and I'm not moving it. I don't think it should break the low of the day. The low of the day is 30. So I'm in half of this still. Stop's 29. That, I'm not giving it anymore. Let's see what it does. Man, if this holds here, this would be an insane entry. I can't do it though. I can't do it. It's 1037. It's holding us in it. Look at this, people. <laughs> you, you can buy more of this here with a stock of 29 for six cents. I'm, I'm not going to do it, but you, you could. <laughs> and that's a beautiful thing. Look at that. So you could buy this right here with a with a seven cent stop, six pennies, eight pennies. You could buy Oracle and put the stop at forty four twenty nine. It's holding. <laughs> um, look at that. Who killed it? Be honest. Be honest and write it in the room. The stop on this is 29 and it didn't take us out. And you just could have bought more there. This this is with, with a negligible stop. I did not do that because the minutes are out at 2 today. But I got to tell you, if they weren't, I would be hog wild in this. New Jersey trader still long. No, I didn't get out. The stop's 29. I got out of half. If I wanted to get out of the whole thing, I would have got out of the whole thing out through the push. So I didn't get out of it. The stop's in. It hasn't hit it. At this point now, why take it out? Red's still in it. I'm saying I was thinking about taking more at 50. And now it just made it so you could have taken it. You could have, you could have just taken it. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized by this now. Um... Adobe? Hold on. Yeah, look at this. This is another piece of crap. And by piece of crap, I mean wasn't a good bearish gap today. And you could have gone long this, but again, I, did, I didn't. Um, but you could have gone long this. You could have gone long this because, quite frankly, you know, like I said, it wasn't, it wasn't a good bearish gap. But I knew it would have a short move in it. It did. It did have a short move in it. It actually did have a short move in it, but you couldn't have made any money with it because it would have had to shorten and get right out, which I kind of told you would happen with this today. But actually, 
You could have gone long it. I didn't call it long, though. I actually didn't call it long. Let's just let's just watch the Oracle here for a second, and then I'll look at the W W G. Well, I never know till I rate it. R squared. I I I I wanted to rate it. I said, you know what? That's why I have the system. I go with the rating. All right. Let's see here if this holds us in. I'm not moving it. Twenty nine. It's twenty nine or bust on this for the half. I'm already out of half of this for profit. I have the stock for the rest of 29, and I'm not going to move it or give it any more room. Time of the day is 1040. And if I get stopped on in the half with this, I'm calling it a day. But it's it's holding us in it. This is so crazy. What gave you conviction, Adobe or Oracle? I can't believe I'm actually still thinking about taking more of this here. You had conviction in Adobe Long? All right. The market's just nowhere until the minutes. Uh, I'll go over W9 in a minute, Great Gatsby. I just want to make sure and see if this holds. Look at it, though. I mean, you could even give this 28, but I think if it breaks 30, it's going to break. So just leave it at 29. This only has a one penny spread now. WG was so spready today. I think that it is normally spready. I forget, but I have a feeling. I think I think that normally is. Like I'm trying to think back. I'm trading that before. I think this is normally spready. HLF long. All right, I'll look at it in a minute. Does anyone else have any questions? I'll look at the WG for Great Gatsby again, the HLF. I'm just sitting here staring at the Oracle. Does anyone have any questions about anything else? I put the watch list for the room for tonight. Although, well, maybe GES. Maybe GES. Oh, no. Out. Nope, you gotta be out. Stat was 29 for this. I'm sure it sets up again, but I'm not gonna retake it. The minutes are out at 2 o'clock. And I actually think it should have held 30. New Jersey Trader, didn't you actually take any half out of that? You have to do exactly what I do. Didn't you take half out? Let's go over it again. <laughs> Let's go over it. We're going over this again here. The entry in here was 57. Initial stop was 20. Even if you put it there actually from this, this is going to break the 20 now. Anyways, 57 by 20 was the first call, which I didn't take. I missed it. It hit too fast. It came in hard. I bought it in a red bar in here. Then I said 60, 61, you can take it. Then I said stops 30. It was a 30 cent stop. You should be in it roughly around 60, okay? It ran up a little bit more than 30 cents, or basically what is 1R? So you could have gotten out of the trade here with a 1R profit, or if you followed me to the letter, you took out of half the trade because it got within six pennies of the first target. You booked 1R and a half of the position. Then you kept the stop at 29. We waited and waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. And this looked great in here. It looked great all in here, all in here, all in here. And even it held. Look how this held in here. And I actually almost got sucked into buying more here, which would have cost average my price. I wouldn't have taken more risk. I would have cost average my price. What does that mean? The original price of the stop was 30 cents approximately. If I would have bought more with a position size at 60 and bought more in the 30s, that would have cost average my price around the 45s. So with a stop at 29, 
then I would have been taking my position size to a 15 cent risk, not risking any more money, but getting more size of it. So if you did the ad New Jersey Trader, which you didn't do the class, so you shouldn't be doing ads at all, because you didn't do the class yet. But if you did an ad, you still shouldn't have lost more than one R, because you take the ad, it costs average your price down. So then if your normal risk is $500, you just have more size, but you're still only going to lose $500, but you have more size. So that if the trade goes on to work, this is going to go on to work here still too. And, and I just got stopped out of the extra half, but it's still going to set up. It's still going to set up again. It's still long. It's still going to set up again here, and I'm not going to retake it, but it's still going to set up again. Anyways, you would cost average your price down. That's how I do ads, but you're not risking more. You have more size, though, so that if the trade goes on to work, you're making more. But it doesn't mean you're risking more money. You still have only the amount that you have, whether it's one R or half an R. This is going to go into work. And I'm not going to retake it. I'm not going to retake it, but you could buy this here again if you feel like it. 36, you got to put the stop now under 44. You got to put it under 44, though. It's got to be 43.95. 43.95, this is a 40 cent risk in here. It's still going to go on to work, and the market's probably going to rally today in the minutes. But you'd be in this trade then through the minutes to get the move up, up over the high, and I'm not going to do that. But you still could do this. But if you followed exactly what I did, it just there was the play out. But if you did the ad, you shouldn't have still lost more than your original risk and what you had because you cost average your price down. You're not doesn't mean you're risking more than the amount that you risked. And if you don't know how to do this, you shouldn't be doing this. This is advanced stuff. You can't just slap on size and just just you know you have to figure this stuff out. It counts. It matters. It matters. It counts. When I'm doing this, I have a calculator next to me, and sometimes I use it. I do a lot of this in my head, but I have a calculator right near next to me all the time. It's the same calculator I've had for, I've had this same calculator since all the time I traded. Every time I did mortgages, this is my lucky calculator. This is a Texas Instrument calculator probably from 1985. It's a solar calculator. Let's see if the date is on this. This is my lucky calculator here. And it's so dirty, it's disgusting too. But it's my lucky calculator. It's actually, it, I could do pi and everything in here. I have, all the things I could do. Anyways, that's the kind of stuff sometimes you have to figure out a calculator on if you don't know how to figure it out in your head. But you still should have the same amount of the monetary risk. But if this trade had gone on to work, if you doubled your position size, which you could have done there because you would have been halving out the amount of the stock from 30 to 15, you would have had more size though. So that if the stock had gone up and rallied up to 45 or 46, you would have made more money, but same risk. You gotta learn how to do it, and you're, and, and you're not gonna learn how to do it just being here in the room. And I know you want to do well, and you are doing well. Just give yourself credit, at least, New Jersey trader. You're at least you've been in here, you know, watching, and you you've done better probably in the last, however many calls in here than you probably done normally on your own. So, at least you're you're, you're doing better. Give yourself some credit for that. But I think you're being a little aggressive because I know you're trying to make a million dollars in here, but. You still don't know all the stuff I'm doing, but you know, it, it, you know, until you do the class, you should just be doing exactly what I do. You should just do exactly what I do. And even if you do the class, you should just do exactly what I do. Anyways, let's look at HLF. I'm done for the day. Um, HLF. What is this story here? Well, if you went long this, obviously you're up, but there's nothing to do here now with this. This is still going to go into work. Stop's going to be under 44 now, though. You go long here, 36, but the stop has to be 43.95. Then it'll set up in the 15 minute over 50, and it'll still go on over the high, over 45. Next target's 44.40-ish, 45.40-ish, 45, 45.40-ish, and still $46. It's only 10.49. You're in this all afternoon to get it up, though. This is probably the low of the day here, but I would put the stop because it wiggles and jiggles under 44. But this looks fine. I know it broke the low, and I, I had to stop at 29. I'm out with the other half. But that's fine. We did the right thing. We played it well. 
but you could go long this again. If I didn't have the minutes, I might even myself, but I'm not going to. And I did that as good as I could have done it. And I don't like trading in the afternoon. And I just really, really don't like it. All right, let's talk a little bit here about the WG and then let everybody go. Great Gatsby's comments about the WG were what? Even if it goes up a dollar, you can make good profit. Great Gatsby. It's not about that. This is what I just made the whole lecture on about. I just was lecturing about your brain. It's not about that. You're going to see this chart here. And if you took this today and you made 50 cents out of this or 75 cents and you made money, same concept as Alta in the reverse, you're imprinting your brain to go long this. And you know what's even worse when people do this? They short and go long the same stop. Do you have any idea how much that screws up your brain? Do you, know how, do you know how many things we do that don't go right away? Now, actually, a lot of the things I call do go immediately. Or I should say they set up right away. But some of them don't go on to follow through immediately. And I keep us in the trades. How? Great example, yesterday, the Mew, where I called it, but you might have killed it. And if you don't have, how can you go long and short something? Where's the level of conviction? You got no conviction then. Are you, is your conviction to the downside or the upside? You can't have conviction this is lower for five minutes and then all of a sudden say, oh, I have conviction it's higher now for, uh, for, for the next half hour. That's no conviction. That's zero conviction. It's actually negative conviction. And people that say they have conviction that do that crap, like the guy that R squared is talking about, are full of it. They, have, they don't even know what conviction is. I'll tell you what conviction is. Conviction is this puppy here, the way I did this, even though this was the day that Tom did the room. The, this thing here, this is, this is conviction with the VRA that I did on that skillfully in the entry and there with that stop I did. That's conviction. This is conviction. The market, when I call the market of the conviction, this is conviction. People that say, people, you, how can you possibly short something and say you have conviction into the downside and then flip it and go long and say you have conviction to the upside? They, that People that say that don't even know what conviction means. That's They have no conviction. They have negative conviction. They don't even know what it means and they'll never make any money over the long haul. And they're training their brain to do the wrong thing. So you don't do it. It's not about, I could say every day, every day you could tell you something that moves a dollar, you can make money in long or short. I could look all day long at charts and say, buy it here, short it here. Buy this here, put the stop here. Do this here, put the stop here. That's what rooms do. That's why you're in rooms they call 1,000 trades and they have 10 different people talking. And you can't get all the trades. And if you took all the trades, you'd probably lose anyways. But you'd have to take all the trades. You know, you can't even follow the people. They don't have any conviction. They're calling things willy-nilly. Every day I could call something to lose a dollar. I, every day I could call 100 things to move a dollar. Would you make any money consistently doing that? Would we even see half those trades work? No. Just because this thing rallied doesn't have anything to do with anything. You can't have conviction in something long and short at the same time. That makes no sense. And you can't have conviction in something that's short and then flip it. And then have conviction is long. You don't, then you're talking, just saying the word conviction. You don't even know what it means. A lot of people do say words. They say words and they don't mean them. And I mean every word I say. That's one thing about me. That's why I'm genuine. So, you know, I'm genuine in my professional and personal relationships because I mean what I say. And when I say I have conviction in something, then I mean it. And that's why when you people in here say, you like this or you like that, I say, no, I don't. I don't like it. I don't have conviction. There's nothing that you're going to say to give me the conviction. You can try. You're not going to. You're not going to make me have it though. Yeah, I do. A John says, "Well, I have passion." Yeah, I do. That's what conviction is. You can't. T it's like saying here. This is a great example. It's like saying you're in love with someone. It's like okay, you meet you meet this girl on the street. A John meets his girl on the street, and he's in love with her, and he goes out on a date with her on Friday night. Oh, I'm in love with you, I'm in love with you, I'm in love with you. And then he goes out with a girl on a date with Saturday night. He says, oh, I'm in love with you, I'm in love with you. One minute he's in love with Susie, next minute he's in love with Sally. Would I date A John if one minute he's in love with Susie, and the next minute he's in love with Sally? Would I go out with him the next night, and if he told me he was in love with me, would I believe him? I'd say, what is this guy? He doesn't even know who he's in love with. I don't believe anything this guy says is what I'd say. This guy's full of it. One minute he's in love with Susie, next minute he's in love with Sally, then he's, then he's in love with me. I say, that guy doesn't even know what love is. And these people don't have conviction with, when they say those same things too.
No, mental flexibility, great Gatsby, is this. Here's mental flexibility. Mental flexibility is not changing your conviction. Mental flexibility is oracles along. If it sets up and doesn't reverse swoosh, we're going long it. Mental, uh, mental uh, flexibility is I love oracle long, but if it reverse swooshes, I'm immediately off of it. And that's the flexibility. I'm not going to dig my heels into the ground and say, I'm going long this no matter what it does. Okay? That's flexibility. Also, I take it, I'm holding it to the half of it to the dream target. It doesn't go there. I had to stop in. The mental flexibility is I let go of it. I had to stop in to hold the half to the dream target. I got stopped out in the half. It's not going to the dream target right now. Mental flexibility is I'm off of it. I say, oh, I'm flexible. I can go with it. Okay? That's the flexibility. Not long, short conviction switching are all around one second here, one second there. Flexibility is seeing it, knowing it, having the conviction, but then you got to have it in real life time set up. Otherwise, I can make any money. And you see it and you're flexible and say, wait a minute. And you don't, you're not so in love with it that you, that you deny what it's actually doing in live time. Because what it's doing in live time actually counts and it actually matters. And, and it actually counts. Okay. That's where the flexibility comes. Mental agility is a better word for that. Yes. I'm going to write that down. That's a very good word. It's a better word than even flexible. I have no idea what we're going to get tomorrow. I have no idea whatsoever. Uh, there isn't a lot, a, lot, a lot of stuff to do today, and I'm really, 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 really glad that we didn't short Adobe. Whew, oh, my God, we didn't short Adobe. And I'm really, 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 really glad that I actually didn't short this because... I would have been stuck in the halt for at least a minute unless I got out of it quick. You could short this here. But again, I'm, I, I, I would not do that because this got halted twice today. But actually, if we had done this, we would have made money in this. And it did fall off a planet. And if I had been stuck in the halt, I would have immediately killed it when it reopened. And again, this was a short, not a long, and it's setting up again. But I wouldn't do it here because of the fact that it's 11 o'clock. The minutes are added to. The stock got halted twice today. The market's not going anywhere. Eight point seven million, yes. Yeah, look at this. This is a beast. This is a great example here. Do you see this? I didn't have any conviction to short this today. So I didn't do it. But I didn't go long it. I liked Oracle long. But do you see here how you couldn't have had conviction in both directions? You either have conviction it was going to work today as a gap down and short it, or you had conviction it was a long, in which case you could have gone long it, but then you wouldn't have shorted it. But anyways, you've been going long a gap down. But you can't have conviction in the long and the short. Do you see here? See another great example here. You have conviction in one thing or the other. You either do or you don't. And if you don't, then, then, you, can't, then you can't trade it. And if you do, then you do it. But you can't say that you have conviction in this and then flip it and change your mind and do that. That means you're not in touch with yourself. I'm telling you, this is the number one watch here for tomorrow, though, for the follow-through continuation. And I, I bet this even follows through today. Why? Mark is going to rally today in the minutes. Could rally over the high, still going to show positive, and Oracle still going to go back up to 45 today. The longer this takes to fix itself here around lunch, 46 isn't going to happen today, though. It'll be 45 or 45, 40 ish, or 45, 38. But this is a top watch for tomorrow. Okay. All right, any questions from anyone at all? Yeah, there is somebody in here named Great Gatsby, which is actually a book. FDX. This looks like very sloppy. I did look at it this morning. I didn't see anything here. All right, any questions from anyone about anything? Very... Boom, boom, boom.
okay? Boom, 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 boom. Very like that. This is how we have to trade. And that's how you do it. And that's how you keep the confidence and the conviction. It can't be like take it scared or kill it scared or take it again or go long or go short or like scared, 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 scared. That's fear trading. People that flip things all the time, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth are trading in fear and they're scared and they have uncertainty, no conviction, negative conviction. And that's not mental flexibility or agility. That's trading in fear and can't make up their mind and no confidence in anything at all. Not the stock, not themselves, not even what they're doing or the strategy. There's one strategy that's in play here in this today. One, one, one strategy. If this goes red today and it drops to $40, there's one strategy in play here. And that strategy is intact no matter where the sucker closes today. Do you get what I'm saying here? You got to get what I'm saying here. There's one strategy in play here today. One. That's it. It either works or it doesn't. And that's how I'm able to take a stock like Oracle or any of the things or, or the shorts that we do, which I love, and go into it like this. Like a lion going into the going into the jungle to get my prey. I go in like that and I grab it. And that's how I'm able to do it. You know, like a sniper, like somebody called me a sniper. That's that's like what I, how I do it. And that's how you gotta do it. That's that's the conviction. That's the confidence. You go and you take it. You know, go, let me think about it. Let me, let me, let me, let me just, hmm, let me, let me think about it. Let me wait. Let me, oh, now it's a short. Now it's a long. Oh, let me look at the market and, uh. You usually go back to bed if you're going to trade like that. Okay, great job today. Great job today. If you follow me, good job. If you did nothing because you didn't want to go long or it was a minute today, you could deserve a round of applause too. Good teaching today, some learning today. I have no idea what we get tomorrow. I do think we're going to get some good things Thursday and Friday. I don't know what. We need a biggie this week. I don't know what it's going to be. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be Oracle today, later in the day, but I won't be in it. If the market rallies and pushes up some crazy number today, Oracle will fly over the high and I'm not going to be in it long. We can watch this tomorrow for a long tomorrow. There's some nice things that are coming out later in the week. I don't like anything really tonight. We'll look at the stuff for tomorrow morning. In the morning, we're going to get one big play this week. I don't know what it is. Is it going to be Thursday or Friday? Most likely Thursday is usually the good day. And actually, VRA was Thursday of the last week, I think. Wasn't it? I don't even remember. See you tomorrow if all goes well. Thank you, Mr. Mom. Great Gatsby. Good learning. Oh, was it Wednesday? I don't even know. Every day seems the same to me. They all run together. <laughs> The Golden Gap class is this weekend, yes, March 21st and 22nd, if you want to take the class, this weekend, 9 to 5, and if you want to retake it, email me, if you want to sign up for the retakes, I did get some people's emails. All right, have a good day, everyone. Have a good day. Have a fabulous afternoon. The Trends class is next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, Great Gapsby, and the, earning, uh, the Entries class is Thursday and Friday. And in the entries class, I teach how to do the ads, which I was going over to New Jersey Trader. I was talking about the Oracle, and actually, uh, I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta put this. I'm gonna add some new charts to that entries class. I gotta put this mu, this mu, and the LL I called. I gotta add that to the entry class. That call I made it a mu yesterday. We didn't have time to go over this, and it's too late here now. We'll do it tomorrow. But this, the calls I made lately, this week, the call I made in the entry a mu, the call I made in the LL on Monday, on Monday that LL call and the mu call. I'm going to add both of those to the entry class. I mean, just great entries. You're welcome. You're welcome, Steve. All right, have a good day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll look for a good one. You're welcome. Have a good day.